No, no, no. I'm saying you have you have a nickname now. It's called Chizambia. <laughs> no, it's not even Chizambia. It's called Chambia. If you remove the Chambia. Z. <laughs> Chizambia. Oh, did I say Chambia. that? Oh, man. You guys. Oh, man. Faith and I are always laughing mm. about that. It doesn't make sense. Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our podcast. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you got Fanny Longo. And you're listening to Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. This podcast is brought to you by NSY. NSY is an accessory brand mainly dealing with sunglasses and other accessories. Yeah, as you heard, if you like wearing glasses and stuff like that, just go on and uh, just go on Instagram and type in N underscore S underscore Y and just just feel free to browse in. There's a lot of lovely glasses out there, man. All the trendy glasses that you've always been, you know, wanting and stuff like that, they're right there. And just make sure to just get yourself one because it's just all about looking cool and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is podcast number 23. And this is number one podcast in Cyprus, man. 23 what a, 24. Is it 23? Yeah, sorry, man. I'm even like uh, going, uh, I'm backtracking actually. It's podcast number 23, one of the best podcasts in Cyprus, which is really amazing. Yeah, oh uh, man, how has been your week? How have you how have you been? How have you been? I've been all right. Can't complain. I'm still feeling tired. I don't know why I'm always tired these days. But then there's a lot of things that have also happened the past two weeks. Week? I don't even know. Um I don't think I told you this, but then those I think Zambians also wanted to protest because it seems like everyone is just protesting nowadays and they wanted to have a peaceful protest. Protest. Like youths, not just, not even a large number of people. But then when they went to tell the police people, you know how you inform the law enforcement, how you inform the police that you're going to have this and that. Imagine you go to the police station and you're arrested for that. But I think they were released. I don't know after how long or what happened, but they were released. And another thing is like how... Like, like okay, can I... So, 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 to cut you short, can I ask like why, what, what was they, what were they protesting for? Was it the Black Lives Matter thing? I think it has to do with rights. It has to do with rights. Something with rights. I what don't know rights? if it's freedom or the freedom of expression or what i'm not even sure just writing generally i'll be so happy if they're rioting i'll be so happy if they're rioting because they want the chinese out of your (laughs) out of your country chinese people are everywhere we'll get to that when we get into the conversation another thing was i think one or two um celebrities not celebrities like a musician was speaking out concerning these same rights i guess and people are feeling the person imagine and only only for the person to show up at state house reconciling with these people so i don't even know what's going on there's a minister that's Mm. threatening to beat people up should they talk (laughs) it's like they're just threatening people like this whatever it's like you have to be careful with what you post on social media you can end up getting you into trouble so yeah that's how my weeks have been or week has been so i was just following up that story on um, twitter how's been your week so how are you doing i'm doing great actually my week has been amazing i was just saying like you guys look like you're having an a lo- uh, what do you call a crazy week or something anyway my week is has been has been amazing you know i've just been chilled um I've just been doing a lot of writing and a lot of research because of i was doing the what do you call this i was doing the seven thousand words i had like two of them so i managed to finish all of them which is a good thing and also i have some few assignments to actually finish and i have an exam after that i'll be a free person yeah, I'll be a free, free person anyway i think my week it's not that interesting but uh, regarding the what do you call this my country what is happening in my country now is really interesting i mean there's so much going on so much going someone on got fired. apart from yeah man someone got impeached out of the the office which is amazing that lady stole a lot of money bro like so much okay i'm not saying like stole allegedly she stole a lot of money and she was in power the whole time you understand which to me doesn't make sense you get it 
another thing that happened in our country is that okay apart from the coronavirus um i think the big news was um was what was i think her being impeached and now they want to impeach the president i don't know how true that is but <laughs> kenyans are crazy kenyans are crazy people but anyway i had another news that uh, remember, i don't know if you know this guy hash puppy yeah i wanted to talk about that ne wait bro, i've been yeah. dying to ask you this why you follow him on snapchat yeah that was the guy i was That's telling you like guy? i was following him on snap <laughs> yeah that was the guy man yeah man the guy got arrested bro like right now i think he's in the in the united states for um what do you call this for he's hearing or something i don't know yeah they took him there they flew why him there why does like, it have to go that side come on that's where the money was being looted oh. you understand you get it so they had i mean they have to summon him from the other side i think i don't know that was so interesting man Ish. it was really crazy but anyway he wasn't alone um, right he was with a friend or something yeah it was a, a guy called i don't know woodbury or something something like that but that was crazy man anyway uh maybe you can talk about it but i don't know I mean, it's just interesting how people attain this money and it's like they sent it to the personal accounts or something. But social media has me confused. Half of the people are rejoicing, half the other people are saying they did the right thing to get the money. Did they even actually get the money or what? Nah, I think they got the money because that guy bought uh, a new uh, Rolls, uh, Rolls Royce. Um, is it cardinal or something like that the new one like like the one cj so cool has but either way he's got a lot of cars no this guy went and bought it new and then he went and changed the rims and stuff like that that thing was like solid three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. you understand and you know what's funny is that people are on quarantine people are just dying of whatever thing and the guy all of a sudden buys this expensive car and then i think he bought a house or something which is so questionable you get it so <laughs> Uh, when people started, I mean, when the FBI started stressing out, they realized uh, there was some money that was being transferred, I don't know, from one particular point to another point. Probably it was just a day. It was just a day. Anyway, it's a shame. Hope people are learning from this as well. Ah, oh, man. It's really bad, man. You know, it's, I don't know, because, you see, most of the people, the people who are growing up today, they actually um, think that uh, he was uh, uh, getting money out of um maybe he had like what do you call this maybe businesses and all these kind of things they, sure they didn't really know have, he doesn't have any businesses of course probably has some business that, that that he started and whatnot but maybe whatever he was doing was like a major uh it was a big big deal you understand but i oh mean I, i don't even think maybe like he had a business you know such kind of people man they really i don't know You I don't want to judge, but I feel that like that much money and not start something up for yourself. You have to start I something hope, that you can I fall hope. back on. Yeah, true. I hope he started something amazing, man, because it's it's really sad. Out of all the money that you're getting, and then you're not probably putting it into investment and whatnot, and then okay. now you're being put in there. Because I, I had that they are um, like most probably they're gonna charge him like um, like like. If if he's found guilty, he's gonna go in for like twenty years or something, but that's only for one case. I get it. So if they go into the files and then they uh, they find like he has like more than two, three, four, five, so you can imagine how many years that's gonna be. But why okay, not just gonna be like, deport him to make things um, to make ah, things friend, fast? Yes. Because I don't think someone like this can get a fair trial. <laughs> What's even a fair trial in this situation? No, no, no. First of all, before we deport you, we need to actually dig and find out who are you, who are the people behind this, and are there other people like you? <laughs> you understand? So They what's going to happen? There are other probably. people like him. Of course, of course. And he's going to be given a deal. Either, hey, listen, bro, you either tell us who you're with, and then we're going to cut down your, uh, your yes. what do you call this? Yeah, your days. Oh, you go in for those days that you've given to you. Of course, he's going to negotiate, man. He's going to. So this one is going to cause a lot of ripple effect or domino effect to a lot of people out there. You understand? Either if he's trying to pull some Tikashi six nine, I don't know. <laughs> Probably that's going to happen. But anyway, um, that was a sad story. A lot of people were rejoicing. A lot of people you were like, it's sad. For sad me, for, exactly for me, though. for me. I was thinking 
this guy was legit. <laughs> Stop playing games. <laughs> okay, you get it. So, and then all of a sudden you hear guy was he was caught and then blah blah blah. I mean it's so I mean it's so sad, but at the same time, imagine maybe there was a family or maybe his family that were depending on 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 him. So now what's going to happen if he's found That's guilty? That's what I'm saying. It's, you can't be getting that story. much money and not having something to fall back on. You've got family members. Yeah, exactly. Make them invest in them. Let them start doing something yeah. as well. But and anyway, all every, were froze. everything. Yeah, I th- yeah, you know when they get you, man, they freeze you everything just to make sure like you're not, there's no money going out and no money coming in so that they can they can actually get the act i mean you know when they do this investigation they actually want to see how much you have in your bank to actually match what was stolen you get my point it's not just in the bank yeah i mean everywhere come on man ah oh, it's, it's sad man and and chances for him to actually get out is slim man it's really slim very very slim he has to he has to i don't know the kind of negotiation is going to happen there is going to be really tough on tough for these guys to come all the way from the United States, free. you can imagine how much this guy was just flossing out of the, uh, like our uh, out of the social media and stuff like that. This guy was flossing so like he was going so hard, bro. Like he was just going crazy, and you even start questioning like, how? You get my point? How? You understand? And doing all these things, and then this actually attracts more. Um, curiosity and people want to know exactly what kind of job are you doing if you're poor no one wants to know about you but if you're rich people will want to investigate your your what your uh, your assets and everything that you have i think it wasn't a stay or something but if you're going to be doing something sketchy then um try to live a low life but then for these yeah, guys who are exactly, putting it out there exactly, exactly. it's been verified on anything, instagram why is it verified again <laughs> Instagram, you know, Instagram is business. Today, if you have money, you can get verified on Instagram. Clean, you understand? Today, I, I, I can make you get verified on Instagram. We, we just need to follow just one or two procedures. You understand? Mm-hmm. Find a blogger, write about you, blah, blah, blah. This, this, this. Uh, find people to, I mean, it's, you can easily get verified. And I think that's the, how society is today. It's just, um, um, what can I say? He doesn't look at things in the right way. He just sees it in the surface level. He doesn't want to go in deep and find out. All they care about is like, hey, are you bringing money on the table? Fine. That's what we want. We don't care about anything else. You get my point? Yeah, anyway, so we move on to today's topic. Yep. So, uh, man, that has been our week and some little bit of uh, what do you call this, what is happening around and yeah so right about now guys ladies and gentlemen we're gonna uh go into our major topic or something like that and we today we're gonna talk about the what has been happening around the world i mean so much has been happening so much has been happening and uh it's something that recently happened and everybody was triggered about it and it's all over the news now everybody knows that there is there is a protest that is going on and it has affected a lot of people around the world. I mean, so many countries are actually doing the protest. And there's been a domino effect which has affected a lot of people, countries. I mean, it's just it's just out there. You can just see it in the news and stuff like that. So, uh, without any further ado, man, today we're going to talk about um, Black Lives Matter, uh, what do you call this, uh, movement and racism. And let's just find... I mean, what, what, what about racism? What about Black Lives Matter? Is there any solution? What's the aftermath? I mean, what's going to happen after it? You get it. Um, what do you think, my lady? What do you think about the whole topic or the whole Black Lives Matter movement or something? Talking about Black Lives Matter and racism, a lot has been happening, like I just said. Um, right here where I am, I mean, even the schools have been affected. People are just coming out and trying to protest they want their rights they want to end racism and stuff like that but you ask yourself where did all this come from where did all this start from what where um i mean 
what is the inception of all this you understand so i mean in a nutshell i'll just say that um i think by now everybody knows where it started from um one cop not even one cop just like four cops decided to take a life of a black uh, guy in a very drastic um brutal manner which was just so uncouth very very bad i mean you could just see it i mean something that has never happened i mean i, I don't get it something that has never happened in the world and you just see it with your own eyes you just see somebody dying somebody crying for his life is even telling you i can't breathe let me breathe and then you you, you tend to to put that um uh what do you call this that face like you don't care and stuff like that that's really crazy then uh, unfortunately the guy died and that's how the whole movement started i mean the whole racism of course racism didn't just start after that incident of course racism has been there since uh, you know i don't know it has been there for a while now i mean uh what happened triggered people to start the the movement black lives matter which Uh, they wanted justice for uh police brutality and all those kind of things of course again black lives matter didn't just start because of uh, the black guy who was killed of course black lives uh matter movement was also there way back probably i think uh i think it's um it has been there for a while now you get it but now uh it had to come back because of what really happened which is so sad really really sad so here where i am in cyprus uh schools and uh, students are actually taking it to the streets <laughs> which is a good cause and they want uh to end racism i don't know how but what that are can your happen thoughts, my thoughts the whole about the whole thing not not just the protest the racial theme that's been spoken about the injustices that are leading to these protests okay first of all um killing you know first of all okay i get it black lives matter but all lives matter too you get it um people should understand that but now when we go into the the whole point here okay black lives matter because black people have suffered the most even when you go back in history <laughs> we've been we've been suffering we've been tortured man we've been i mean they've been doing things to us and we've been all quiet it's as if we were we were told hey if you speak about this thing we're going to kill you or we're going to hold you accountable or stuff like that you get it i think people were waiting for that moment and they were boiling they were mounting it up until it it became um too much and now guys are out there protesting you get it but again um my whole point i mean my whole view on this black lives matter is that it's a good cause but there's a lot of speculation a lot of things that um people are talking about i mean you know there's certain percentage of people who think the whole thing uh, like the whole thing is a hoax and there's a certain group who think that the whole thing was real and uh but again whether real or fake the best uh thing that is happening now is we want justice and which is a good thing hopefully hope everything's going to come out uh the way people want or the way we want it uh to come out uh, so which is for uh, the want protest to right now yeah I'm, i am for the protest you get it like black lives matter i'm i'm really 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 for the protest you understand but again ah, there's so much ming ming there's so much i just want to hear your point first and then i'll go into it and maybe i'll talk on one or two things what do you think about the whole thing about black lives matter racism or, or police brutality and what not just let me know what you think i mean i'm glad that you brought up this or oh, we're even talking about this thing the first thing is this protest right now are happening because of george floyd and yeah of course yeah george floyd. i was waiting for you to talk about the part where someone said it was actually predicted in the simpsons and did you see that yeah yeah it's, it's predicted in the simpsons is uh predicted in the illuminati cards you can see it there So yeah. but then why do we always have to wait for something like this to happen for us to start protest black lives have always mattered and then they also I'm not even condemning them I'm for black people black lives matter all lives matter whatever the case is but then I wanted to say and um, there's actually people that are actually saying people shouldn't even be out there protesting because um George Floyd was actually acting in um adult movies 
so there's those people there there's actually white people that are out there um reenacting the the manner in which george floyd was killed in and they're saying i don't think anyone would die if you put the knee on your neck whatever the case is i think it's just that i mean it's just even it's simply sad that someone is going to sit down and bring up someone's job to demean why protests are out there it's going to bring out um it's just i think it's just true like you said all lives matter if it was another person that was killed in such a manner protests should uh, should be out there as well but at this point we're in a situation where black people find themselves in situations that i don't even understand why are many atrocities committed against us you see me walking down the street you already think maybe i mean your maybe so-called white neighborhood too why can't i live in a good neighborhood it's that we've been there's so many profiles concerning black people that to even think about it is just sad it's really really sickening that some people don't see the whole point of saying black lives matter i mean all lives matter but right now black people facing these injustices so these protests going around good for them but then then this is my issue this is my issue my issue comes in when we people in zambia want to protest for something that's happening in america um whatever african exactly exactly because there's so many injustices happening at home that we keep quiet about but then this is the thing like i said people wanted to protest peaceful peaceful protest but then the police arrested them so it's like we don't even have freedom at home but once something happens in america the whole world wants to make noise why aren't people making noise about slavery happening in libya people are quiet the westerns tend to blind exactly to Exa- imagine so imagine this slavery man mm-hmm. go on there's many people dying how many people died in congo in 196 but in the 1960s or before that i don't even know but people have kept quiet um what's the court there's an international court i've forgotten it because there's a lot of things going on in my head those people haven't prosecuted those people that killed people in congo no one has said anything yeah yeah people in namibia were killed king, king leopold yeah. yes he, he killed like 500 million africans and no one no one prosecuted him 500 Imagine. million he killed about 10 to 15 million uh, congolese people um a certain tribe in namibia was killed no one even says anything about that quite quite look do you realize do you realize like they wiped like a whole generation of africans <laughs> do you get it so that they can get rid of uh one generation passing information to another generation do you understand what i'm saying it's yeah. like they got rid of certain generation which was really really oh, oh man that was bad you get it just go on go on yes but then we we're talking on the issue of how we're now making noise not making noise but we now want to speak out because something happened in america why are we not speaking out when your father is stealing money from minister or whatever the case is why are we not speaking <laughs> out when people are killed in zambia of many course, people yeah, are true. dying and true. people are for themselves every time someone true. is killed raped whatever the case is we keep quiet but then because it happened yeah. in america the whole world must cry i just i don't know it doesn't sit well with me i'm not saying don't be don't support the black people in america i'm not saying that let's start by supporting ourselves here let's start by speaking out by the things that are happening in our countries let's start with ourselves it's it's like it's more what i'm trying to say is love yourself first if you love yourself you can love another person so mm-hmm. i shouldn't just um that's true i don't even know what to say <laughs> would you want to contribute yeah man you, you've said a lot of good points in there man a lot of good points but um i'll just take it back and 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 say that hey you know what first of all the movement is i'm i'm not saying that the movement is bad the movement is that's a good cause trust me that's a good cause black lives matter you understand but again what i'm really confused is that um do we always have to um i mean do we do we always have to wait for something to happen so that we find ourselves on the streets you get it and start now protesting and then all of a sudden black lives matter uh campaign just comes in and all of a sudden and then now i just got confused again when i went deeper to find out that this 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 thing called a uh, black lives matter movement the blm movement the person who's actually uh, funding this 
the whole thing is called George Soros. Uh, this guy is a Jewish guy, very rich guy, billionaire or something. This guy, when you look at his background, is not a good guy. Man. This guy has been funding people to protest, to go and create anarchy, to go and, uh, um, you know, just go against uh, things that are of well-being for the society and stuff like that. And then I'm, I'm like, so this is the same guy who's funding Black Lives Matter. Are we really in our right mind to actually just follow suit and start just going to the streets and pulling out um, billboards that, that are just written there, Black Lives Matter and stuff like that? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. But we should actually do a research and actually come up to an, to, to an understanding like the whole thing is being funded by somebody who's actually more dangerous than you think you get it and then now i'm like um another thing the level is, of another thing is uh, uh-huh, people yeah. should actually look into where they're pledging their money to you people are thinking oh uh, exactly Kanye West is exactly twenty thousand for black people lives matter uh, movement whatever the case is that's a lie but <laughs> a lie. they're actually donating to other people that are not even doing anything to stop whatever is happening so just be wary look, of look, that. Mimi. Look, Mimi. All this, all this. I saw, I saw in the news the other day that Kanye was it Kanye that Kanye West or I don't know who. No, Flood Mayweather is going to pay for. Um, Not Kanye um, West. Uh, George Floyd. Yes, daughter. also Kanye. Yeah, I don't know school fees and whatnot. College. And then about the burial. I mean, yeah, all these kind of things. I'm like, guys, man, you have to realize it's either there's some truth in it. But again, this is media. Media can make you believe that this thing is happening. Mm-hmm. Why? For me, it doesn't make sense that all this thing is happening at this particular time. Why 2020? You understand? Okay, someone can say like, ah, uh, you know, you cannot, whatever. But this look. This is what I'm saying. You have to be wary of things. Like you said, it's just media. First, it was coronavirus. Now people are bored at home everyone all of a sudden coronavirus has disappeared because people are out in the streets with or without masks and they're protesting no one you know, is dying you know, in the united not- states they're saying in the in the in the united states they're saying if you're going out either you're going to protest if you're not protesting you're not going out what kind of what kind of orders are those man i mean it doesn't make sense it's like if you're going out either you're going to protest if you're not uh protesting then stay in the house you have no business to be outside doesn't make sense at all for me i'm like hell no. it's never made sense this, this, the this minute is beyond they control. said on we're all going under lockdown i mean not all of us are under lockdown but the minute they assume the entire world should sit back inside their homes that was when the problem started even way before anyway we should the, question exactly. certain actions our government takes but then you can't speak up because who knows this video might end you might lead you to to yourself it's fear fear you know fear fear is the one that uh is controlling us you know what is happening actually is that um if you look clearly this is a mode of control and they planned it very well i'm not okay i'm not trying to say that okay um there is an element of George Floyd's murder was a plan, you understand? Because there's, uh, like there's a the group of people. I think the movement has now moved on from George Floyd. It's now become a political game. Exactly. Now everything is political. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this thing has now become, politicians are going has been to say anything to get that vote be tomorrow, be it whenever the case is. Exactly. But now, before we even get to the politics side, yeah, how this thing started. We started with the coronavirus, yeah. When they realize that everybody is 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 awakening and everybody is knowing the truth now, like this thing is like it doesn't make sense. This corona thing doesn't make sense anymore. You get it? We are indoors. They came up with a d- distraction. Exactly. That's how I'm thinking. That's how I'm thinking. They sat down and they're like, you know what? What we can do? Okay, whatever thing we do in America is gonna be like a domino effect to every country in the world. <laughs> you get it? And I think we have a major, a major thing that we can do so that it can uh, get people's uh, attention. And I think that's what they did. But I'm really sorry for just saying what I'm saying. What what I'm saying is that the level of control that is going on, manipulation, is just so huge. Imagine people don't just even one second. It. Look, 
Look, Ming Ming, one second, Ming Ming. We are on lockdown. We are told about the coronavirus. Everybody's in fear. You get everyone is in fear. Like first day when 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 I was in the office and I was told like, hey, the coronavirus is in Cyprus, and they started shutting down the schools and everything. I was scared. I was like, hell no, I'm not finna die. I'm not finna die with coronavirus <laughs> when I'm when I'm abroad. I'm like, hell no. I just found myself going home and just locking myself inside. So that fear started uh, crippling down, and I was like, hell no, I have to stay in the house to keep myself fair. Even when I was going outside, I was really uh cautious enough to even not touch anything you get my point it was like a movie but now but now when i was in the house i was like nah this thing does not actually make sense to me so i went deeper and started finding out things finding a thing so i realized this thing might be there but it's not as dangerous as the way they say it or maybe it might be even a hoax or something because there have been uh predictive programs about the whole situation you can check it in the illuminati cards you can check it in the movies in the series i mean this thing has been has been predicted like <laughs> in decades think, or something i or think even, it's all about you get energy it? first they wanted us to put our energy in um yeah in what coronavirus now they want us to put it in the george floyd thing which has now become political so after this what's going to happen and i think this george floyd thing is actually going to lead to more um more crimes if i should say more crimes i'm lucky yeah, yeah, yeah. better term to use because then yeah people and i will come i will come be... to that too mm-hmm. uh, i was saying okay now um back to what i was talking about now when the coronavirus I came in i was scared and blah 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 and everything of course everybody was scared of this thing people didn't want to go out you know no me at first i was kind of scared but uh when i realized the whole thing was just so uh, it wasn't making sense to me i was not scared anymore i don't get think we should even be so, so now we should even be scared because one we've been having flu since we were born we're now 20 something years we're still here yo, yeah but now imagine no 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 but now imagine somebody who doesn't know about it, like someone who hasn't gone a father to do research about the whole thing in his mind he knows that this thing is dangerous and what they did was really smart and they told people to stay back home and sit on their couches watch the tv that's why they they killed everyone you understand because uh first of all you need to understand that television is telling lies visually so you sit in your couch watching that tv and what you see right there is a bunch of uh fear type base of of visuals and stuff like that so it keeps you in a vibration where you're so scared to an accent that you cannot even step outside that's number one and i think media played a bigger role when it comes to the coronavirus and stuff like that and another thing now is that when i realized the whole thing is kind of it doesn't make sense to me and people who are waking up a lot of people are questioning about the the corona thing and whatnot now these guys okay this is me now this is just my own opinion i'm 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 thinking they thought like if we let this thing go further these people are gonna uh find the truth and we're gonna lose the battle you understand so they had to bring up something something fresh you understand something new so that people can now go into it just like what you've just said like give give us another type of energy so that they can harness our energy again that is fresh and it's it involves a lot of uh what do you call this a lot of um power and energy you know going down the streets and protesting that's a lot of power and you're putting a lot of work and time into it and then boom we saw george floyd murdered in front of of the telly all of a sudden people forgot that coronavirus was existing everyone went to the streets imagine just a few seconds somebody can change your mind someone can just control you like within seconds that's what i'm mad about so today uh the united whatever people can come up with something new and people will still go uh follow suit you understand we're like ships we just follow instead of questioning sit back relax and question before you even go out and protest how how did this thing happen why was this guy uh being being uh being killed by use of of the knee or something why was the guy using the knee to kill the guy that's what i'm trying why, to say why was, i'm trying to make why was, you understand that some people are actually saying okay, that okay, 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 okay. the entire kneeling thing is a ritual because what did uh some parliament i don't even know where maybe in the state states or was it the congress or something the next day they were wearing that ghanaian thingy scarf in their neck and <laughs> I, the one kneeling. Hey, really. I saw it. I was like, what a hypocrite, man. H. But some people are saying it's a Masonic thing. Maybe this guy is not even dead. It is a ritual. 
and that at the same time it was uh what do you call this they are doing that so that you can be submissive do you know when you kneel down what does kneeling actually uh portrays it portrays uh submissiveness it portrays uh that you 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 you're abiding to whatever we are telling you you get my point ming ming yeah so now so now in the future we will be they will introduce things that we will always abide to i think this is just another um predictive programming that they are doing it to us you understand because i read somewhere like for you to be conditioned properly it takes like 20 years you get my point 15 or 20 years yeah 15 or 20 years that's why they have to put us in school for like when we are young up to the age of 18 <laughs> you understand or even more because you go to the university you go to uh uh you do your masters undergraduate and blah 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 you get it so it takes like roughly 15 to 20 years that's why when you come out of school you know nothing about what is happening out there you know nothing about your world okay. the only thing you know is books and what you see uh in TVs and stuff like that you get it so it's crazy it's crazy when you look at things the way they are turning out today it's not as it's not is i mean there's no coincidence man there's no coincidence this some of these things are planned shakespeare even said like uh the world is a stage <laughs> you get it there's a stage yeah but anyway i'm trying to find out what do you think of this movement and africa focus on us um, not them first of all africa should should stop jumping ships you understand they should stop just be no, but, uh wait, jump, let me stop being, you being, before you answer me i want I, i also wanted to contribute saying um but we have people protesting in liberia um nigeria and countries like south africa namibia are condemning the way george floyd was killed so in certain countries in the world we have people um like um what did i want to say like demanding the removal of these statues like when you go to victoria falls we've got a statue of david livingston so people want those monuments or statues or whatever they are called to be mm. taken down and others are actually taking them down in the united states Mm-hmm. people want um streets to be renamed instead of maybe um instead of them being named by colonizers they want mm-hmm. yeah i'm listening instead of them being named by um after colonizers they should be named by our own african people maybe the freedom fighters whatever the case is mhm yeah mhm look ming ming I'm not against um this kind of movement in Africa but <laughs> we need we need we need we need to we need to look back at ourselves first of all you get it um okay fine uh taking down that statue of King Leopold down what's going to help us at the end of the day are we going to get um are we going to improve our economy are we going to improve our well um Are we going to live better life after that or it's going to go back to to the norm whereby okay we we forget they introduce another thing then we forget you understand we either have to stick and go forward and making sure that all those people who actually committed crime or maybe committed all those atrocities in Africa they have to be charged even if they were dead We've we got have cowards to... for leaders that's not going to happen France exactly that's what i'm telling you for the money they got from your country the british people won't retain what they got from you guys look instead of africans caring about black lives matter that 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 started off in the united states they they should now start thinking how can we eradicate but i don't think the people. taking down of statues is a bad thing maybe to them it's a sense of taking back their power maybe start there take down those statues put down our people rename streets exactly. name them after our people exactly. then maybe exactly. have, maybe grab the balls to actually um that's why I liked Mugabe and Gaddafi those people were standing up for what they thought was right for their people 
I mean, yeah, taking down the the statue, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Again, it's a good condition. Because right you know, now, you all they bring up your kid, yeah? AU has done is say, okay, what happened in the US was bad, but no actions taken. But anyway, those people are not African. They're African-American, but not, we're not going to say, okay, he's Zambian, he's this, this and that. From there, exactly. maybe put people in power that are not so selfish work with exactly. your people don't and think your people are out there to get you or something of course yeah i'm not i'm not condoning the act of cutting down those things i mean it's a um it's good that you're t- beheading the statues of those people who are doing bad things again it's a good condition why because when you when when, when your kid is going to grow up he's going to grow up knowing that uh, okay my dad my whatever father or my mom fought for this and we actually have statues that resemble them or something like that. You get my point, which is a good thing. But are we going to get to to a point where we will say that we won the battle? Or are we going to get to a point where our kids are going to say that, Dad, what happened? What happened? Just like today when I can I question my ancestors. I can, I, can, I can question my ancestors today and, and, and question them and ask them, what really happened? Why are we going through this suffering now? Because a black man is like a is like a what? I mean, is like an outcast in this world, which doesn't make sense. You understand? When we were the ones who were the rulers of Europe, the ru- rulers of the whole world, you can imagine. And then all of a sudden, things were just flipped upside down, and we are here now, struggling, trying to trying to fight, but nothing is happening. Our just like the way you've just said, our leaders have been corrupted. How everything mm-hmm. was flipped just like that. It really doesn't make that's, sense. That's why I'm saying a lot of things happen, Ming Ming. The whole time when I was young, I was just raised and I wasn't told about my story. You get it? The whole thing we were told about was his story. You understand? I mean, that's and, why and, it and, should start with us. Exactly. I mean, let's do these, away with this European, Asian, US. Eurocentrism, history. yeah? Exactly. I think that's where they uh, they were able to condition us. We weren't told about our story. We were told about his story. I mean, the whole system of of education and 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 what we are being taught in school is not system is trash. Because then exactly, how do they live exactly. out in our history books the history about Mons? That's an important part of history. Why are they keeping that away from us? Why yeah. is it not part of the syllabus? They left that part out. They left the part that, <laughs> man, it's, it's crazy. Especially the Moors. The Moors are the rulers of Europe. You understand? That's the most important yeah, thing they, they would have told us. At some point. Yeah. The only thing we were told was like the Ottoman Empire, the uh, King Leopold. <laughs> no, and Ottoman. King, what? Oh, man, I was we like, were taught about the Ottoman Empire? Yeah, we were taught about the Ottoman Empire. In and school, also, high school. We, um, no, I think in primary level we are also taught about that. I in primary see. level we are taught. Yeah, I mean I only learned about was, them when I was that side. No, no, no. I learned about the Ottoman oh. Empire way back. The future is is brighter, you understand? All these things can be changed, but don't expect this thing to be changed just dra- just, you know, drastically like that. I mean, with a flip of a finger like Thanos, you think that racism is going to end. Just like, you know, uh, people are going out in the streets now to say like I saw a board written end racism now. I'm like how do you expect to end racism now? It doesn't make sense. It's just like when you're sick of, of cancer, God forbid and then you go to a doctor and tell that doctor hey, you know what? I want you to end this cancer now. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna just happen right there and then. There's some precautions you have to take. There's some treatment. There's some... what. what all these type of things you understand so uh, there are some things we need to apply and we have to be smart enough just like the way they came to us they lured us and all these things we need to come up with a plan a plan that can be able to eradicate all these things and do we have that plan now or all we do is just go into the streets and then they will introduce another um another psyop and then all of a sudden we forget about black lives matter how can <laughs> we have sticking. a plan when um uh, <laughs> leaders are blind or leaders just are comfortable where they are 
exactly our leaders listen our leaders are trash man especially african leaders but sorry to say this but most of our leaders, our leaders are, trash. are trash what are you and i doing about it how can we Look, change Ming the Ming, situation the situation can be changed you get it it just takes uh execution the right mindset and just believing in whatever thing that you want to do but the problem is the problem is the fear you understand the moment ming ming i can be i can be one 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 out of 10 uh of that guy who's really really up there and trying to make things change but when i look at the back here yeah, i don't have any army with me i don't have anyone who wants to to actually back up what i'm trying to do of course i'm going to have one or That's two people why in life we look at that business and it's successful in life you have to have people that think like you and are willing to of take those steps in life you just can't recruit people say you you are black let's get rid of this racism it doesn't work like that the people that exactly. are still slaves the people that even now this is why i'm saying i have a problem with this world you can't go to china and get um a what is it a permanent visa or you can't become a citizen rather you can't you you can But never look at how? this tell me look how? at the amount of them that are coming to africa coming rich and becoming yeah citizens. i saw You know, you know you know you know what i saw a chinese guy who's a citizen of ghana now i was like how did this even happen in the first place the guy I just flashed out his cards <laughs> and i was like you can see like this guy is a is a true citizen of ghana i'm like That's if you try to pull this move low standards for these other people to come in and just um become citizens they can come for holidays as they please but do you know how long it's going to, to take you to even get a visa to the states the process that you have to go through the necessary things that you have to do i mean they're necessary for them but just doesn't make sense make things hard for them as they make things hard for us no you know for them they've painted that picture that this is a land of milk and honey so here it's not, not easy even that. <laughs> it's not easy it's not for you to that. you know the look 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 me the white man is the master that's what i'm trying to say even if a white person is poor the we're all walking to the till you as a black person are going to look to the white man because he's white so that you can serve him first you pay your people you want to do things yeah. for them last exactly what i'm trying to say is this man like they made it look like their country is a lovely country you understand when you go there you become successful i'm not denying the fact that when you go there you're gonna you know at least get uh no, good, whatever thing, blah, blah, blah. yeah but now people need to understand africa has all the resources you understand all those things that they are using in their country they took it from our land that's what people don't realize that look ming ming their children their children uh, small children in 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 congo dying to dig for a uh, for this metal that is being used in each and every cell phone the cell phone that you're bragging with ming ming your iphone your iphone these people who are bragging with your, with their iphones out there there's a metal in there that is being dug by a small child in congo you get it and that that metal is the one that powers like Again, the entire cell phone but now not know where how super their powers are but now Why are they you realize anything ming ming you realize that of course yeah i mean you realize like no one wants to talk about it you understand no one wants to talk about this child why is he being put in this in this act or this type of antics no one wants to talk about it as long as the the, the big fish are on the table out there satisfied and then they are channeling the money into this uh the leaders of this country they will shut up you understand yeah another thing is um all of a sudden congo has ebola again so now they're going to send the yeah. un people all the way from out of africa all the way from i don't even know where to come and look into the situation there in congo Mimi, you have to realize that congo is a is a blessed country it's a god man on earth congo is one of the richest country in the world in terms of resources one of the richest ever like i don't know if they're going to be a country that is more richer than congo you understand is so i mean they they have to keep those high up i mean they they have to uh keep those people busy mean mean they have to keep them busy so they introduce yeah. things every day they have to introduce like uh, ebola and then after ebola 
the gun violence and all these type of things. I mean, it's just kills after kills so that they can distract people and then they go deeper and dig whatever they want to and go with it. So, I mean, that's what we are as Africans. But I, I just wanted to touch on race and racism. Look, I want to tell people that uh, race is an illusion. You understand? This thing doesn't exist. They made it exist. You get it? We are human race. You get it? If I go close to a white person, I cut his hand. It's going to bleed red. It's going to whatever thing. I mean, we have a lot of similarities together. You understand? Uh, the only thing is just the pigment, the skin pigment, which which is... Uh, uh, that one doesn't really count that much. You get my point? Another important thing I also want to touch on is... Now, there is an act of race, which for me, I think is an illusion. And then there is racism, which is... Racism itself is an attitude. You get it? Racism is is learned. It's taught. You get my point? This thing never existed. That's why a small kid doesn't know anything about racism. You'll find a small white kid and a small black kid just being together and they're all fine. Until when now they go to school... And then they're being indoctrinated with those bad uh, or words or whatever the situation it is to become now racist, to become uh, people who look at each other and say like, you know what, you're, so, you're not supposed to hang out with that guy over there because he's, he's of that color or something, you understand? Or they're being even told, oppress these people or do this. So uh, me, I'm thinking that the whole thing is... It doesn't exist. It was just put out there to create, uh, what do you call this, separation. Just j- just to make a certain group of people feel inferior and a certain group of people feel superior. You get my point? Which, it's a bad thing to even think of racism at this time and age. And it's happening, Ming Ming. It's everywhere. Not only, not only uh, in Europe or maybe America or something, even in your country, <laughs> even in my country, racism is there. I mean, racism in terms of actually like color wise you understand i'm talking about now when you go deeper into tribes when you go deeper into into uh, what do you call this um class those are the major things that you're supposed to look into not this racism of color whatever thing let's look at class why are we divided in class poor rich and the average to the extent why you can't find yourself playing with someone from a different class than you even religion itself there's a lot of denominations in there i mean we've been divided to an extent that there's so much yeah i mean there's so much that is going on to an extent of us even coming together and you know what happened in my country um me i believe trouble started coming in when they introduced what you call the multi-partism when we had only a single party where everyone was just looking into this party and we just find a president a president you, you know that was much better that way. But the moment they created multi-partism and then now we have like 50 parties. But then that's the thing. In one After country. And, and you're like... sold you this type of democracy, they remained and had just two parties for them. As we've got a lot of things going on. That's <laughs> exactly. why they're making you think Robert and Mugabe is a bad person. That's why they're making you think exactly, Mugabe is a bad exactly. person. Look at these countries now. Worse than they've been before. They wanted Mugabe out. True, Mugabe true. out. Why are they not lifting those sanctions? Did you know? Did you know that Ghana and is it China or Taiwan or something? One of the Asian countries. They gained independence the same day, and Ghana was ahead of China. Like they were so much ahead. But guess what? What is happening now? China is the one funding Ghana. China is the one that is giving Ghana, uh, what do you call money, build their building their roads houses and all this kind which doesn't make sense to me and you touched about you touched about democracy and i was reading something not even reading i was listening to something and i was shocked i went deep and did the research and ming ming man you'll be shocked the way these people do their things is like orchestrated you understand they're smart these guys are geniuses they plan they plan these things and they execute it at the right time so i realized that democracy like if you look at the word democracy is actually a demonic uh, rulership you understand i was shocked to find it i i mean to to even go deeper and and, and find like this thing is a demonic rulership because demo means demon and crassy mean 
rulership and i was like what so all this thing is by design all this thing is out there to actually oppress us not just oppress us also lower our vibration to a level whereby we can't think for ourselves we have to have somebody who's thinking for us you get my point so so much is going on around us but we don't know these things we need somebody to come out there and tell us these things but the moment you come out with the truth somebody wants to come and kill you somebody wants to come and shut you down you understand that's the fear that a lot of people are having out there you get my point ming ming so i was shocked to learn about this and i was like what and there's so much things i've learned but maybe we can just talk about them in the next topic or whatsoever or something like that like i said for me it's all about loving ourselves those mm-hmm. some of these african american people say they are too good to be african they think they're too good to be african they don't care about africans so why should we yeah. care about what they're doing if they're going to turn a blind eye to us let's turn a blind eye to whatever is happening there it's not a good I it's not true. i mean it's not a bad thing to actually put yourself first let me think about zambia before i can think about the united states even exactly, though it's going to affect us exactly. let's start thinking about ourselves first if i'm going exactly. to start a protest let let it be a protest because something in zambia went down not because something in america went down just doesn't make sense you're wasting your time you're wasting your energy you're going to make noise nothing is going to change we have corrupt exactly. people in power no one is saying anything you're comfortable but you want to make things about george floyd imagine it doesn't make sense get it. it doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah. you are right you are right when you talked about uh let's think uh I mean let's think for 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 ourselves. I mean let's have what we call our self preservation. What talking let's do about us um what talking about let's talk about how uh Libya was poor at some point or maybe underdeveloped not poor but underdeveloped but Gaddafi came in he had no debt he had nothing from these foreigners nothing at all. I actually you know that being... one of the last courses wait before I forget one of the last courses that I actually learned was mm-hmm. I think a French person or Italian I forgotten who actually even borrowed money for elections from Gaddafi so that they could go <laughs> and visit campaign or whatever the case is it just shows <laughs> you what we can do for ourselves Libya should really be a, an example an example for us and my battery is going to go out so libya should be an example for us and let's follow suit let's let not someone come in and say this person has been in power for 27 years they need to go who are you man Where and they took that guy that? out man they took that out cold blood mm-hmm. out and that was imagine man imagine they went and manipulated their um um his people and his people go- went against him imagine do you see how but manipulated now, now, these guys are do you see how but then the it's americans funny, are so manipulated suffering yeah because i have a friend of mine was education I, free i'm not even sure but most of the things it was, was free. it was what's happening Look, now i have a friend that i work with is libyan and then he, he was telling me jesse do you know that we did not pay school fees electricity was free all these things all these necessities housing and and if you if 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 um if you give back to a baby is given like a, a five thousand dollar uh like uh like when you get i don't know if it's a uh, being given ten thousand yeah so i mean all those things they boost you out so now from you're the not start. getting anything because you listen to who someone who's not libyan someone who doesn't care about libya they had other yeah. interests and he was telling me he was telling me he was telling me like since gaddafi was cleared out of that space they've mm-hmm. been suffering like it has been crazy the guy even ran away from from libya just to come probably here in cyprus to to uh find greener pastures which i i, I felt sad man the guy was was telling me the story with a lot of uh you could you could tell this guy is so uh what do you call this emotional about the situation he was even saying that uh that's the reason as to why he left the country to come to uh cyprus and then now the thing is he was telling me if it were not for gaddafi being murdered i would have been in my country enjoying 
uh, the resources, enjoying the benefits and all those kind of things. But look at what Libya has been turned into. Man, I was I was so I was feeling bad for him. I was feeling so bad for him. But now what can you do? They took out Gaddafi. They took out Kwame Nkrumah, one of the one of my best ever <laughs> leader in the entire Africa. That's Kwame Nkrumah. That, that guy Kwame had a lot of points, man. That's why they took that guy Ali. Ali, they took him Ali. You understand and replaced him with some weirdo. And then now, um, Heli Selassie, man. People like Zimbabwean president who died the other day. Amazing people. Ali Manzurui. I mean, all these revolutionaries were taken out because they knew if these guys were alive until this point, they would have changed the lives of Africans today. But look at what is happening in Africa today. Most of our leaders are puppets. They have been given money. I think... What do you think can be done different? What can be done is, first of all, this is what I like telling people. First of all, we need to decolonize ourselves. We need to get rid of Eurocentrism, first of all. That's number one thing. No excuses. Get rid of, uh, decolonize ourselves, and then from there, we unite. And then now, we start building things through love. You understand? And we start, um, what do you call this, uh, doing things that are of our interest. Let's not look at, I don't know, America. Let them go. Even if they're 100 years ahead of us in terms of technology, it's good for them. Let them go. You understand? Let's, what are we doing now? Let's not emulate them. What were we before they told us what we were? You get my point? Because <laughs> Ming Ming, at some point, we lived our own lives. They came in. They found us living better life. I was reading somewhere. Uh, I don't know what guy was this. He came to Africa and he was shocked the way these people were living. They were living in harmony. People were not killing each other. Their business was amazing and everything. People were loving each other to the fullest. He did not understand why are these people loving themselves like this. Why are they living in harmony like this? You get my point. But now these people came in. They saw what we were doing. They made sure that they eradicated whatever you were doing. And and me, I'm thinking that they took out a they generation. They think whatever we were doing was backwards. That's why there's yeah. people no, but before, out there that say the mind is a very powerful place. Yeah, exactly. But but before that, Mimi, I'm thinking they took a generation of people who knew about the whole thing. They took that generation so that they create that gap so that when new generation is being created, they don't know Even anything now about. Ready to take out the, everyone, so that exactly maybe Africans don't exist in history. I was reading about the malls, so someone posted about it on Twitter, and someone was saying um, the malls were actually not black. The what? The the malls mm-hmm. were actually not black. So it's like I don't even know black? what they were not black in color. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how some Indians are dark skin. Look, I'm not saying they are Indian, but I'm just giving you an example. No, no, no. Let's stop using the word black, because you know when you use black, it looks like hey, it's it's, it's dark, dark. No, um, they're shade of browns. You understand? Those people who are the most who are out there, they are not like dark skins like the the Sudanese or stuff like that. They had a brown type of um. A skin like like the way the Ethiopians are and all these type of things. You get my point, but it doesn't mean that um, they were you not. Can't of tell our... me all of them were that color. No, not all of them, Mimi. Not all of them. Not all of them. A lot were even dark skinned A lot of them were dark skinned You get my point? Because that's where the original man started from. The dark skin. You get it. Now, um, what I was trying to say. Okay, about decolonization. We we need to decol decolonize everything about their world that we copied for example the media actually the media is number one thing we need to just get rid of they are like totally we need to to have our own we need to have our own army we need to i mean maybe we need media, to do a lot medicine, of things names. Our, Many exactly of us have do you know english names Ming Ming, foreign names you know what's funny do you know what's funny is that the medication that we take 
ninety percent is from China. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, go check it out. You'll be shocked. Ninety or seventy-five percent. But why in like, good times with China, China? Why do we have a shortage now? Nah, it's come on. You know the Corona thing. This thing was uh, was uh-uh. it's, it's here by What's design. It's thing? here by design. So it's they're able to design, send us. Man. That's what I'm saying. They're able to send us these masks, but they won't send us these medicines for other diseases that we may have. But again, the problem with we Africans, we are so dependent on these medications from them. Me, not even that. We, should, we need to stop being dependent on them for anything. Not just China, other countries as well. At the end of the day, we'll find, we'll find this is going to be, we'll find our countries being called other names. Maybe China 2.0, China this, this, that. Because our countries are being sold slowly but surely. Yeah. We I had, have so I had much your country. that doesn't make sense. Don't even start about how they, they're running the media. That's just another headache no, no, no. for another day. No, no, no. I'm saying you have you have a nickname now. It's called Chizambia. <laughs> no, it's not even Chizambia. It's called Chambia. <laughs> you remove the Chambia. head. Chizambia. <laughs> Chizambia. <laughs> Chizambia. Oh, wait, did I say Chambia. that? Oh, man, you guys. Oh, man. Faith and I are always laughing mm. about that. It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I think I'm saving for this. Anyway, guys, yeah. um, if you've stuck around up to this particular moment, you're the real MVP, man. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any kind of topic that you want us to touch about, or maybe you want us to delve in, just let us know in the comment section below. And if you love this topic right here, man, don't forget to just go and hit that subscription button, and just give us a like, and also. Tell us what do you think? What do you think about the whole thing, man? What do you think? What do you think about, about the whole the thing about black lives? Brother, black lives what matter. What do you think mm. Africans can do to change the situation? Yeah, exactly. On the ground, that is. Exactly. What what can we do? Because things are different when you go when you go to the ground. <laughs> you get it. Just let us know, man. What do you think? And. And also, uh, we want to thank all the listeners out there. You guys are really amazing. Thank you for supporting us. We've actually uh, reached like uh, 1,000 listeners, and uh, that's really amazing. That's a really good um, achievement right there. Thank you, thank you so much. And you've been listening to Diving In. And until next time, we're going to see you. And deuces.